ABC News Daily, where we start with the deadly storm system that is ravaging parts of the South. At least four people are dead in Houston after heavy rains and damaging winds knocked out power for nearly one million people. You can actually see here windows of some high rise buildings were shattered in the downtown area after hurricane force winds ripped through the city streets. All of that, according to the mayor. Homes and businesses were reduced to rubble, like this mechanic shop, where pieces of debris are just left hanging from power lines. Pumps at a nearby gas station completely mangled. As of now, more than 700,000 people still do not have power across Texas. Officials say it could take days to restore that power in some areas. NBC News correspondent Guadvanegas is live in Houston for us. Squad, what is the extent of the damage that you're seeing there? Uh, Vicki Morgan, you just went through a lot of that damage, right? That building where the windows were blown out is just a few blocks away from us. But look at this building behind us. This is a club downtown, Conejo Malo. Uh, the whole side of the building looks like it was just blown out. This is a wall made from brick. You can see all of the debris left. The workers have been here all day. Uh, we saw a team of individuals assessing the damage, and this was what was left by those strong winds. Now, when we arrived earlier today, there was also debris all across these streets. A lot of that has been cleared. This is a shutdown. You can see some of the branches that have been left. This is after they cleaned up the street. So what authorities have said here is that they were expecting rain, heavy rain with the storm, but they weren't expecting the winds that caused a lot of the damage that we've seen. And then, of course, there's the damage to the infrastructure. We know that hundreds of thousands continue uh, to be at home without power. Uh, the mayor also asked the owners of businesses to give their employees a day off. A lot of school districts have shut down. They're asking families to stay at home while authorities focus on this cleanup effort. And, of course, crews uh, continue to work on restoring the power. You know, you mentioned what authorities are saying there. When we look at businesses like the Conejo Malo behind you, I mean, what are the, the business owners saying about what's happening, frankly, to, to their industry right now? Well, earlier today, I spoke to the owner of a taco shop. This was on the eastern part of Houston. I mean, first off, they were surprised at how strong the storm was. The owner of that taco shop told me uh, they were open. They, they were in business when the storm hit. Some of the workers called them when they heard the wind, when they heard how bad the storm was. And they said, you know, we think the sign fell off. And this morning when they woke up, it was actually part of the structure of that building that had fallen off. And a lot of people today came into this surprise seeing the damage. The, the owner of that business also telling me that he owns another two restaurants and today he was just trying to figure out how to send the workers home and make sure that they're taken care of because they won't be able to work for a few days while these places are shut down and the other ones that weren't damaged will be without power mm. all right mbc news correspondent on the ground there for squad Negas. thanks so much thanks for watching stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the nbc news app or follow us on social media